We recently celebrated Juneteenth, but 154 years after that day, we see a racial gap that leaves the average black family with 10 times less wealth than the average white family. The infant mortality rate in black communities more than double for white communities. African Americans graduating college, $7,000 more in debt than white graduates. We see black women making 61% of what white men make. And you know what? We are gonna end that absurdity. We have a criminal justice system plagued by racism. This is unacceptable. And as president, I will make it my priority not only to eliminate national economic disparities, but racial disparities once and for all. We're going to stop spending $80 billion a year on mass incarceration. We're going to crack down on police brutality. We're going to shut down private prisons and eliminate cash bail. We are going to pass Congressman Jim Clyburn's 10, 20, 30 legislation to invest in distressed communities that for too long have been left behind. We're going to increase support for HBCUs. We are going to end redlining and put a stop to gentrification and build the affordable housing this country desperately needs. I have always believed that good public policy is good politics. And good public policy is to understand all of our people are entitled to economic, racial, social, and environmental justice, and that in America, we need an economy and a government that works for all of us, not just wealthy campaign contributors and the 1%. Thank you all very much.